President Trump uh, said there'll be no more punishment for Saudi Arabia over the killing of Jamal Khashoggi. I mean, the Saudi government must be very happy to hear that. Well, we've always said that uh, the Saudi government is not involved in this. This was a rogue operation. These individuals were officials of the government who exceeded their authority and committed a crime. We have said that we will investigate, which we have. The public prosecutor brought charges against uh, individuals, including the death penalty against five. We have said that we will put in place mechanisms to ensure that this doesn't happen again. This is how normal countries deal with a, a situation like this. This is a terrible mistake, and we want to make sure it doesn't happen again, and we want to make sure that those responsible are held accountable. I mean, U.S. officials have told journalists that the CIA assessment is that the Crown Prince gave the order to kill Jamal Khashoggi. Uh, one of the officials who was fired and then sanctioned by the US was a, an, an advisor to the Crown Prince. Um, and the former deputy head of intelligence who apparently sent the team to Istanbul and was then fired was also apparently close to the Crown Prince. Isn't that quite damning for the Crown Prince? Look, it's, this, this is a huge tragedy and we're making sure that it doesn't happen again and we want to make sure that those who are involved get their due punishment. The uh, CIA report that you talk about, I've, well, I haven't seen it, so I can't assess it. The CIA report that has been talked about in the media, we've heard different versions of it. What I do know is that the spokesperson for the State Department said that the reporting on the CIA report is inaccurate. And what we've heard is the president say that the CIA report is not what people say it is. And so we have to go by this. If you have any evidence or any government has any evidence that it would like to make available to the Saudi courts, I am sure the courts would be pleased to receive it. So you're confident that Saudi Arabia's alliance with the U.S. is safe despite the killing of Jamal Khashoggi? God willing, yes, because we as a government had nothing to do with it. When you've said that the Crown Prince has been exonerated, has the Crown Prince been investigated? We looked at how this issue came about the, uh, and how the operation was launched and the people who launched who were in part of the operation and what they did. And it has nothing to do with the Crown Prince. Can he be investigated or is he technically above the law in Saudi Arabia? In Saudi Arabia, nobody is above the law, but uh, we have an investigation. We have information that we've received from our Turkish friends. Uh, unfortunately, we receive it after it's been leaked to the media. We have said that if they have more information to provide, that we, we would look forward to receiving that information. Our a public prosecutor launched his own investigation in the kingdom. He came to certain conclusions, and based on that, he took action. Have Saudi officials listened to the audio recording that Turkey says it has of Jamal Khashoggi being killed? Um, I believe one of our officials has. Um, in the law enforcement or intelligence area, but uh, and we have asked the Turks to provide us with a copy of it so we can do voice recognition and we can do forensics so we can establish with, for certainty who the voices on the tape are, but we haven't yet to receive a copy.